Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's talk about multi-currencies in Odo 40. So how to manage multiple currencies in Odo 40. Multi-currency system allow you to send sales invoices, quotations and purchase orders or receive bills and payments in currencies other than you own. So, uh, can set bank accounts in other currencies and run reports on your foreign currency activities. Let us check how we can configure currencies, multiple currencies and set, we can set in order. So from here, let's directly go to our accounting. Inside which first we have to configure multi-currencies in configuration settings. So when you go to configuration settings and search for currencies, you will be able to find that option. So in search for currency, we can see on the accounting section there is uh, where you can see multi currencies. Uh, so this option I have already enabled. So when you click this, you can see some section, uh, one section here. So this, uh, this is used to record transactions in foreign, current, foreign currencies and uh, by clicking this, you can activate other currencies. Uh, it will lead to a different page. Okay, so here you can see post exchange different entries uh, in, that is we can post entries in journal. Here you can see an exchange difference journal. So this is used to uh, post our accounting entries. And you can see a uh, gain account and X loss account for your currencies. So this exchange gain or loss journal is used to record difference in payments registration and expected amount. Uh, for example, if you receive payment against an invoice after a month of invoice, the exchange rate most probably will be changed. Uh, that is the fluctuation, uh, fluctuation or the difference uh, will be recorded by uh, this difference is recorded by Odo and uh, this trade difference is used to create journal entry of loss or profit caused by the difference of currency exchange rate. And here we can see a section that is to add main currency of your, com of your company. So you can set, set the default currency or main currency of the company. So I've already set it as INR. Then here we have a section to update exchange rates automatically. That is, we can add automatic currency rates. So here you can see a service provider. You can select here from uh, this op these options. You can set service and interval. That is, you can update exchange rates uh, manually. Like when you click manually here, you can add a um, date manually. Then um, when you click on this, you can update now. Then here we have an option uh, to update exchange rates daily, weekly, monthly. So according to that, you can see the change in next run. So when you click monthly, you can see next run will be in next month. So after enabling this multi-currency, you can save the settings. So I have already enabled this option. So I don't want, I don't want to save the settings. Okay. After that, you can see an option under configuration that is currencies. Under accounting, you can find currencies. So this is just because I have some I have made some change. Okay. So when you get into that is uh, the page, you can see all the created currencies uh, that is pre-configured currencies inside the menu. So when you click on the menu. So here we have many currencies with the currency name, then symbol, then currency rate and date, then whether the currency is active or not. So here you can see three currencies are, ad are active and we can create new currency by clicking on create button. Here we can provide currency name, then currency rate, that's rate of currency, then whether it is active then currency unit and currency subunit can be given for it. Then here we have rates. So when you click on that, you can create 
different rates for the currency at different rates so i will uh, at different dates so i will show uh, one open so if you click on the rates you can see at a date a rate is created in the same way at different dates you can create different rates uh, suppose for today i am creating a day a rate and for tomorrow the rate may change uh, so in that case we can make use of this option to create rates for your currencies now let's see how we can configure currency in chart of accounts so under configuration we have chart of accounts and we have multiple different accounts here configured accounts let us set up one account and see how we can add currency so here when you edit here you can find an option to add amount currency for this account so here i can set currency for our account forces all moves for this account to have this account currency so you can see uh, forces all moves for this account to have this account currency then if you leave this empty inside the uh, account then it can handle all active currencies then we can also set currency for your uh, journal so here we have journals and let me open cash and here you can see payments configuration tab under that you can find a field that is currency to add currency for this journal so from here we can set currency for the journal so if a currency is given you can register payments only using in this currency and if you remove this currency then uh, all active currencies will be handled by the journal and we can also set currencies for sales in sale orders invoices then purchase orders or quotations or vendor bills so let me open one invoice let me create one invoice and show how we can set currencies to customer invoice so here suppose i'm creating register an invoice here under other information you can find here we have a field that is journal and here we have tax invoices in currency so from here we can select currency for our invoice and we can confirm and the same way so you can see the journal tax invoices in inr then in the same way we can set currencies for purchase orders or quotations so when you create one quotation you can see here there is an option to set currency for your quotation or purchase order and in the same way uh, suppose i'm creating uh, this quotation and confirming the order i'm receiving product Here, when you click create bill, you can see inside the vendor bill, there is an option to change uh, the currency. Here, you can see vendor bills in INR the currency, and you can change from here. So this way, multiple currencies. That is, you can choose currencies inside purchase order or vendor bills. then suppose i'm creating a payment okay and let's come back to accounting and under customers you can see payments under customers and if you click create you can see a form to make payments that is to receive money or send money from company uh, that is for company and here 
you can see along with the amount field you can see the amount in currency so from here we can change the currency according to that you can see the change and the same way we can make use of multiple currents multi currencies that is to set currencies for bank statements so here i have created a bank uh, bank account and when you open this and here you can find an option to create bank statements and from here you can add reference other details and all and here we have uh, an option that is to add lines transaction lines and when you add transaction lines with label partner here along with the amount we can set amount currency uh, so if you can't find the option just click on this three dots you can find an option to add the field that is amount currency so you can set currency for your transactions and the same way you can find exchange rate journals uh, that is we have journals in under accounting journal entries so we can we have uh, we can see exchange rate journals and for them you can see the currencies so in order for an exchange uh, difference entry to be created automatically the corresponding invoices and payments need to be fully reconciled this means the invoices are fully paid and payments are fully spent on invoice Uh, so if you partially pay three invoices from pay two payments and the last invoice still has an amount due there will be no exchange difference entry for any of them until that final amount is paid so we have seen uh, the purpose of uh, that is how configuration of multiple current multi currency nodo and how we make use of made use of it to set currencies in different areas so that's all about the that's all about multi currencies in odo 14 and thanks for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odo@cyprocess.com